Hello, YouTube fam. It's Hassan here, your go-to guide for all things web design. Today, we're diving into a much-requested topic, how to redesign your contact form 7, giving it a fresh look with custom CSS styles and some cool icons. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, so you never miss out on our webtastic tutorials. Ready to spice up your forms? Let's go! Alright, here's our starting point, the default contact form 7. It's functional, but let's admit it, a bit on the plain side. Today, I'll show you how to change that. I have developed a very simple plugin that will add some style and remove extra space and peat tags from the contact form, making it more conducive to adding icons before input fields. You can download the files from my GitHub account. Follow the instructions on how it will work. I will include the plugin link in the video description. Navigate to the plugin settings and upload the plugin files. In the plugin repository, you will find a sample code file. Open the file and copy the code. Create a new form in contact form 7 and paste the code. I will explain its structure later. Add email tags and let's include the shortcode in the website and verify the form layout. The good thing is that this new style also works well with the Elementor editor. As you can see, an icons has been added to the input fields. Let me explain the basic HTML structure that we use for creating this form.
Here, you can see that the input container is the outer DIV. Next is the icon class. You can copy the icon code from the Font Awesome website and change it accordingly your preference. Following that, we have the input field, which we will use to indicate the field where the icon is applied. Please follow my instructions on how to add it in the contact form editor. It might seem a bit tricky for beginners, but trust me, it's the best solution instead of using other add-ons. Let's spice things up by adding a few more fields and changing the icons. It's going to be fun! You will also notice that the warning tip style and checkboxes have changed with the addition of the plugin's unique style. That's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share it with your fellow web designer. If you have any questions or want more tutorials like this, drop them in the comments below. I will also be adding a few styles to the plugin. Follow me on GitHub for more updates.